Okay, let's practice our basic algebra skills. And what we're going to do here is fill out this multiplication table. So just uh, back like in the third grade or fifth grade, or well, not the fifth grade would be too late, but maybe like the third grade, second grade, third grade, whenever, uh, whenever you were taught the multiplication tables, you had uh, basically rows and columns and you kind of fill things out. So what we want to do here is the same uh, deal. So we have x. Uh, x plus 1, uh, 3x minus 2, and then of course we have this x, 2x, and x plus uh, 4. So we're going to kind of fill out this multiplication table. So for example, uh, in this particular cell, okay, this box right here, we would get the answer by what? We would take x and we would multiply it by 2x and then we put our answer uh, in this uh, box right there, that cell. So we want to go ahead and fill out this multiplication table just to make sure that everyone is good to go with their basic um, multiplication skills in algebra. All right, so we got monomials and we have binomials. So that's pretty much what we're going to be dealing with. So you'll have a monomial times a monomial. Now, a monomial is just a uh, term for a single term variable. And then something like this, x plus 1, this is called a binomial. So we're going to be multiplying monomials times monomials binomials times monomials, and then binomials times binomials, all right? So it's it's important that you understand these terms, okay? I know this is just basic algebra, but you're, you're going to see these things called monomials, binomials, trinomials, polynomials, a lot of terms and definitions. So let's do it the right way and make sure you understand these terms. But uh, anyways, if you think you can um, fill out this entire table, it shouldn't take you too long, maybe a Oh, a couple minutes at most. Uh, go to pause the video, put your answers in, and uh, maybe, you know, uh, put in some of your comments there. Matter of fact, let's see if you can tell me right here. Let's just do the hardest one. Let's see if you can get this one right. If you think you can, put your answer into the comment section. And when you're trying to uh, express a square, let's say I wanted to say 3x squared, one thing you can do, the way you can write this out, uh, because obviously you can't put this in, uh, into, you know, uh, like I say, the comment section in the video, but we could express that as three, and uh, you should be able to put this little upside down uh, arrow, upside down V like this. Uh, so that would be three X, and then the upside down arrow represents that you're going to be taking a um, this X to a power. So three, uh, this upside down thing right here is called a caret. Okay, so that's a notation that you can use to express three X squared. Uh, just as a little bit of a hint. But if you want to go ahead and, and do this problem, put your answer into the comment section, I think that would make this video extra fun. All right, so I'm going to get into um, uh, filling out this table in just one second. But first, let me quickly introduce myself. My name is John. I'm the founder of Tablet Class Math. I'm also a middle and high school math teacher. I'm going to leave a link to my math help program in the description of this video. But uh, basically, I, I have 100 plus different math courses ranging from pre-algebra to pre-calculus and everything in between. So if you're at the uh, middle school, high school, or even college level in terms of your math course, I can help you excel in uh, your respective math course. And uh, of course, if you're having trouble, uh, you know, you know, learning anything. All my courses are super comprehensive. Now, if you're planning on taking any exam that has math on it, things on, uh, like the GED, SAT, ACT, GRE, GMAT, ASVAB, Accuplacer, Alex exam, CLEP exam, teacher certification exam, end of course exam, nursing school entrance exam. I can go on and on and on. You get the idea. I can help you prepare and pass those exams. If you homeschool, you definitely have to check out my full homeschool program. Very comprehensive. And uh, if you don't have any math notes, don't panic. You can use mine. I'm going to leave uh, links to my math notes in the description of this video. But I've been teaching math for decades. This is the secret that uh, you know most students just don't know. They don't appreciate enough. Okay, They underestimate the importance of taking notes. If you want to do great in mathematics, you have to have great math notes. So start taking better math notes. You'll thank me later. Okay, so again, let's get back to filling this thing out. So in this cell, it's going to be what? This times this. All right, that's what you're going to do here. And I'm just kind of want to make sure that nobody is confused on uh, this little multiplication table. So in this uh, cell right here, we'll take x plus 1, and then we'll multiply it by this x. Okay, and then, of course, 3x plus 2 times this x right here will be will we'll go in this cell okay then just go ahead and move on to this column and this column 
Uh, and I'm going to go ahead and get started now. Now, uh, if if you're kind of confused on anything that I'm doing here, then just use this as feedback, okay? So, you know, I don't want to get into uh, how to, you know, really slow this uh, the answer down here uh, too much. So I have tons of videos on uh, polynomial multiplication, uh, basic stuff to more advanced stuff in my pre-algebra and algebra playlist on my YouTube channel. Of course, I teach this uh, super thoroughly in all my algebra courses. <clears throat> okay, so let's go ahead and get into it. And we'll start with this cell right here. So this is going to be x times x, all right? So x uh, times x. You can kind of write it that way, okay? x times x. And that is going to be equal to x squared, all right? So that's what that is. It's x squared. So just like you had 2 times 2, you can represent that as 2 squared, okay? So if you didn't know that, that's what it is. Not x and x, okay? x times x, this does mean x times x in algebra, but we wouldn't express it that way. Just like 2 times 2, you wouldn't you would write it that as 2 squared. You wouldn't write it as a 2 times 2 like this. You would write that as 2 squared. So same base, okay? And this kind of goes into powers here. Same base is actually x to the first, x to the first. This is x to the second. So when the bases are the same, you actually add the exponents again. You can kind of get into uh, this particular um, part of this table is dealing with powers and exponents, okay? All right, so let's move down to this next cell right there. So I'm going to be taking x plus 1. I'm going to multiply it by x, all right? So we can write that in algebra this way x times x plus 1, okay, but that's not the final answer, okay, that's the good start, what you want to do is go x uh, times x plus 1, that's what we want to do, but you want to use the distributive property, so x times x is x squared, and then x times 1 is x, all right, so that's x squared plus x, let me put this in here, Okay, so again, uh, this um, it, this is an example of something called the distributive property. Super important property uh, in mathematics. As a matter of fact, a lot of these problems, a lot of these uh, things that we're going to be doing is going to um, be using the distributive property. So again, I have a ton of videos on the distributive property in my pre-algebra uh, playlist on my YouTube channel. But it's one of these properties that you absolutely must know to be successful in algebra. All right, so let's continue to move forward. And we'll uh, tackle this one next, and that's going to be what? Uh, 3x minus 2 times x. So I just showed you how to use the distributive property. Same thing. This is So this is going to be x times 3x minus 2. But we don't want to write it that way. We actually want to go ahead and do the distributive property and simplify that. So that's going to be what? x times this 3x. That's 3x squared. Okay. So again, x and x is x squared. And then we have 3 in front of it. And then x times this uh, minus 2 is minus 2x. Okay, so that's how I want to write my final answer. So let's go and put that in there. 3x squared minus 2x. Okay, so <clears throat> if you understand this, then, you know, this first column right here, then you should be able to uh, tackle this second column. It's pretty much the same thing. I just have a 2x. It's going to get a little bit more interesting well, a, really a little bit more interesting for the, these cells right here. This one, let me just kind of uh, go right here. So this one here, we're going to have a binomial times a binomial and another binomial times a binomial. So these uh, two cells right here are going to require you to use the FOIL method, okay? FOIL method. And if you want to go ahead and review that and then uh, actually uh, do that, that would be one thing. But the rest of this stuff, I already kind of showed you what to do. Uh, so it's pretty much, you know, going to be very similar to what we did in this first column. But let's go ahead and move forward. All right, so this is going to be x times 2x is going to be what? 2x squared. That is the answer. And now let's go ahead and keep this going. So in this cell right here, just like a, a regular basic multiplication table, it's going to be x plus 1. Okay, you're going to go in this way and then going down this way uh, times 2x. So, it's, again, it's going to be 2x times x plus 1, but we don't want to write it that way. Let's go ahead and use the distributive property, 2x times x plus 1. That gives us 2x uh, squared plus 2x. All right, so let's go and put that in there. 2x squared plus 2x. Now, um, how many of you out there feel like you 
you know, are warming up to this, right? Give me, you know, uh, some feedback in the comment section. Say, hey, yeah, no, I'm still, you know, uh, still confused, or no, I get, I get this. But again, these last two prompts, or these two cells right here, are going to require a different method called the FOIL method. Okay, so we'll get to those in just one second. But let's go ahead and continue on and uh, do this cell right there. So that's going to be 3x minus 2 times 2x. So let's do that right here. 2x times 3x minus 2. Again, we're going to use that distributive property. So you, it's always the numbers times the numbers. So that's 6. Okay. Then x times x is x squared. So 2x times 3x, 6x squared minus 2x times 2. That is 4x. Okay. So let's put that in there. 6x squared minus 4x. Okay. All right. So you know, kind of moving along at a pretty good pace. Of course, you know, I'm, I'm uh, taking a little bit of time here to, um, you know, explain this, but now let's go ahead and deal with this last column. So we're going to use X and X plus four. Okay. Again, I don't want to leave this like this. Okay. These would be the factors. I'm going to actually go ahead and multiply. So X times X plus four using the distributive property again is going to be X squared plus four uh, X x squared plus 4x. Let's put that in there. x squared plus 4x. And uh, so that's basically it for the kind of the easier stuff. Okay, we multiplied uh, using just basically, uh, you know, these monomials and then a monomial times a binomial using uh, the distributive property. So now we're going to move on and start talking about how to multiply two binomials. So I have lots of videos on this. Uh, you want to check out uh, the videos called the FOIL method or how to multiply polynomials, uh, binomials, time bi binomials. But let's go ahead and tackle this one. So we got x plus 1 times x plus 4. And I'm going to give myself some room here. x plus 1 times x plus 4. Okay, so that is what we have to figure out and that'll be the answer for this cell. So I'm telling you that it has to do with this thing called FOIL. So FOIL is a little acronym called first, outer, inner, last. Okay, so what does that mean? Well, I'm gonna show you right now. So here, this would be, these two terms right here are the first. Okay, so this is the first and this is the first. So you got a first and you got a last term right here. Okay, so this is, we're multiplying this first by this first, okay? The first term of each of these binomials, okay? Now, the outer terms are going to be this. So that would be, actually, let me move this down. Scoot this down here. Okay, so this would be the first. Now, the outer is going to be this, okay? These are the outers, okay? So that's the first. That's the outer. What would be the inners? Well, this would be the inners right there. And then what would be the last? Well, the one and the four would be the last, okay? That's going to be the last right there. So that is the FOIL method, right? The FOIL method. Now let's go ahead and actually do this. So the first, x times x, that's going to give me x squared, okay? So you got to be really, you know, you got to concentrate here. x times x, that's the first, that's x squared. So now we'll go to, um, we did that. Let's do the outer. So that's going to be x times 4. So you're just going to uh, put that next to it. That's going to be plus 4x. That's the outer. Now the inner is going to be 1 times x. So that's just uh, 1x or x. And then the last is 1 times 4, which is 4. Okay, so at this point, um, we have to go ahead and just uh, combine like terms. So I have an x squared, 4x plus an x. That's actually a 1x. So that is 5x plus 4. And that is the answer. So let's going to put that in there. So this is going to be x squared plus 5x plus 4. Now, hopefully, I asked uh, somebody out there to do, you know, well, actually, I think it was this particular um, one to figure out. So go ahead and, and uh, now that you understand FOIL, if you already knew that, that was excellent. But go ahead and do this last problem. Let me show you it right here. We're going to be doing, um, or this last uh, cell, you're going to be using 3x minus 2 times x plus 4. You're going to be using the FOIL technique, which I just showed you right there. Okay, so let me go ahead and erase this. 
All right. So again, you know, just just an exercise or practice exercise just to get you, you know, um, really strong, you know, in polynomial multiplication. And then, of course, we haven't even talked about dealing with trinomials and binomials times trinomials. I have videos on all this stuff. But let's go ahead and do this last problem. This is going to be 3x minus 2 times x plus 4. And uh, let's go ahead and start. So we'll use the FOIL technique again, F-O-I-L, first, outer, inner, last. So the first are going to be this. That's going to be the first. So I'll just keep my little highlighter going here. So 3x times x. 3x squared. That's my first. That's done. Now let's do the outers, okay? So this times that, that's the outer. So 3x plus 4 is going to be 12x, okay? That's the outer. Now let's do the inner. So that would be negative 2 times x. So you got to use that sign right there, negative 2 uh, times x. Just put this right, you know, make one, you know, uh, row. Just put all these terms, the results of these terms right next to one another. Uh, so we did the inner. Now let's do the last. That would be negative 2 times 4 is negative 8. And that is the last. <clears throat> and so now we got to go ahead and combine like terms. And let's go ahead and finish this up. So this would be what? 3x squared. 12x minus 2x is 10x minus 8. <clears throat> All right. Let me put that in there. 3x squared plus 10x minus 8, and that is it. Okay, this is the entire uh, table. Let me show the. Let me show you the whole thing in its grandness. And if you got this whole thing right, then that is pretty awesome. Okay, so here is the final table. Matter of fact, if you got this entire thing right, uh, particularly this one right here, if you got that one right as well, of course, what that would mean you got the whole thing right. I must go ahead and give you a nice happy face with a good old 1985 flat top haircut with an A-plus, a 100%. And matter of fact, I'll give you a few extra stars so you can have an extra special day. Okay, that's excellent, all right? So, again, this is basic algebra, uh, but there's nothing, you know, when I talk about, you know, basic, well, that's a relative term, okay? There's basic calculus, there's, you know, basic anything, right? It's all relative to where you're at. If you're learning this for the first time, it's not basic to you, it's a foundation, okay? You're setting the foundation to build upon and learn more algebra. But you gotta learn um, how to multiply um, various terms. Okay, these are called terms in algebra. This is a term, this this right here has two terms, an x and an x plus one. And you can have uh, things that have three terms, you call those trinomials, and they can have multiple terms, like things with seven terms, you know, uh, connected together by addition or subtraction. That's just called a polynomial. So we're kind of studying the big picture here, polynomial multiplication, but it is basic algebra, and um, hopefully you'll continue to build your algebra skills, and I would love nothing more to help you, you know, excel in algebra. So anyways, if you like this um, video, if you thought it was helpful in some way, please go ahead and consider smashing that like button. That definitely helps me tremendously, and if you're new to my YouTube channel, Hopefully you'll consider subscribing. I've been on YouTube for 10 plus years, have over a thousand videos. Matter of fact, I think it's like 1300 videos now. I just stopped counting, I just make videos, but I know it's well over a thousand videos. Basic to advanced math. Uh, so my goal, my passion, what I try to do is try to teach math in a clear and understandable way. So if you like my teaching style, I have a ton of content on my channel that I want you to take advantage of. Of course, I'm posting new stuff all the time. I try to spread it around uh, basic math, calculus, pre-calculus, algebra 2, geometry. So again, if you're in that middle school to college range, it's a pretty wide range, you'll want to kind of follow my work because I give out doing stuff all the time. I'll never run out of math problems to do. But anyways, uh, my best math help will always be within my math help program. Okay, so with that being said, I definitely wish you all the best in your mathematics adventures. Thank you for your time, and have a great day.